here we are uh, going back together um, let's see no master cylinder for the truck yet um, what was that floor pan is, uh, well that's gonna be him coming over wire wheel and going over it with the scaler and right now I need a belt for my compressor so we're gonna put this guy together first something getting to me though that little guy showed back up the owner's son might have had it for a day <laughs> for a few hours maybe I don't know long enough it came back covered in mud but uh, the chain had come loose and the adjusters did not move not that I could tell anyways um, all I can think is when they were trying to run it with that bad front sprocket shaft output shaft bearing whatever uh, it was throwing the chain in a really hard way and it was it was a brand new chain so maybe having all that screwed up aspect to it on the break-in period uh, really cocked that chain over and the owner is hesitant to get a new chain again because it was ninety dollars for that chain he went through the dealer I think I could find it cheaper I don't know everything else looks fine I can't find a damn reason why this thing shouldn't run and drive just fine uh, the original sprocket had a lot of side wear on the outside face of it not on the inside just only on the outside face of it I don't know it was really chewing the hell out of that front sprocket and then he put a new chain on and that chain got thrown a couple times I'm that's all I can think of is just that mm, sort of bending action on the chain really screwed it over while it was breaking in hopefully now that I retightened it it'll it'll behave but I don't know told the guy that <laughs> right now I want to get my little honeybee back together um, hydraulics guy did get me some fittings that were pretty close to the originals and he gave me like a about an inch and a half extra line and I uh, you know you can just kind of grab the lift arm whatever back there and you, know, you can you can cycle it and nothing's like jamming up these hoses aren't even on tight yet you know, I can I can move those to where I need and then tighten them up but you can see you know, everything's nice and clear and uh, I did that little Allen key on the rear end of the drive shaft slid the shaft back and uh, yeah uh, rounded sides of those washers are up against the flex disc thank you Zippo <coughs> somehow that's how it already was but I'm glad to know about that cuz yeah that would have just cookie cuttered the freaking flex disc right out of there I don't have them tight tight yet I just kind of I guess the point of your video was to sort of feel the thing together. You know, I was kind of rolling the engine around a little bit by hand, turning the drive shaft, working it and working it until they, the bolts and everything would just go together real nice finger tight. Uh, felt like everything was happy, so, you know, I'm going to go with that. Um, got rid of that fucking coil on there. Uh, now I got an extra wire for, uh, I don't know, run some lights or something. Or a cigarette lighter or my uh, 3,500 watt stereo system, whatever. Um, been a while since I took it apart, so I'm kind of puzzling it a little bit back together, you know. I didn't make it too far. Um, I want to stick these lines on and anytime I touch them 
you know, like uh, anytime something would bump them, this way they just freaking they'd back right off. Uh, so I tightened them, and I don't know if you can see that, but this little uh, sort of serrated looking ring on the back of the fitting nut, whatever, cracked. Same on this one. Hmm. No sense bitching and yelling about it, though. I, uh, I just kind of dry fitted. Oh, here. <laughs> and I kind of dry fitted the, uh, you know, whatever together and sort of made it look kind of like a tractor. Uh, thinking maybe use the old hydraulic lines for another season. Sort of hate to do that. They're 50 years old. The outer sheaths are cracking up on them. But you know, they still did the job. I don't know. I hate to put it together just to tear it apart again later. Uh, actually kind of not bad once you get into it. It is time-consuming to take it apart if I had to I'd absolutely put it back together with the old lines mm. but I don't I only got this lawn <laughs> that used to be a lawn at one time and then uh, two lawns a little bit down the road and I can just walk right there doing with my push mower and it's good exercise. I'm wondering, is there a way to get these old fittings out? And, I don't know, can they crimp a collar on them separately? Reuse those fittings? That's, that's the only thing that's holding us up. Not much else for now. Um, stay tuned, I'll be sure to bore you to death with my talking. Later, and thanks for watching.